Um, what's happening now is that uh, peace has prevailed in Afghanistan in the last couple of days. Um, uh, uh, the entry of uh, Taliban into Kabul uh, happened without a bullet being fired. In the last two days, uh, Taliban have given all the assurances needed to the population. And uh, uh, what Afghanistan now needs is a head of state. The former president is a fugitive. He left with bags of money. His government fell flat. All the ministers escaped. And once they escaped from abroad, they started incriminating messages against each other. So we are sure Ashraf Ghani is not coming back. That part of Afghanistan's history is over. Now, what Afghanistan needs is a head of state. A country cannot be a territory without a head of state. It is by coming to Kabul and occupying the seat of the government that the Taliban will fulfill this international requirement. Uh, the head of uh, the Taliban, Mullah rather, is in Doha right now. But uh, he, he should make plans to come to Kabul. Uh, today, uh, or yesterday, actually, President Karzai, uh, Dr. Abdullah, and uh, Gulbuddin Hikmatyar, three of the elders who have not fled from Kabul, called on the Taliban do, to come and uh, start governing, basically. And they are ready to help the Taliban. They are not asking to be in the Taliban's government. They can be in a shura, in a, in a council. But leaving Afghanistan without a head of state doesn't make any sense. Because Ashraf Ghani has left without signing a resignation letter. His signature is valid with banks internationally that hold Afghanistan's $9.5 billion in central bank reserves. A new state needs to come fulfill this international legal requirement in order for Afghanistan to go and claim its central bank reserves. So the people of Afghanistan have not risen against the Taliban in the provinces uh, and in Kabul. The people of Afghanistan are thirsty for peace in the first place. And yes, in the future, if Taliban commit violence with people, homegrown resistance movements will be created. But the difference between last week and this week, uh, this week there is peace in Afghanistan. And the Taliban will have their own system. Perhaps they will not have elections. Perhaps they will have a shura uh, council in which they will call uh, a bunch of elders from the previous regimes. And uh, uh, there are many countries uh, in the Gulf that don't have elections. They have shuras, uh, people live in those countries. This is how the contract is going between people and uh, government and the international community recognizes them. So when it comes to governance of Taliban, we uh, uh, may not undermine them. These people have won uh, a struggle against uh, uh, what they called uh, an occupier for the last 20 years. Uh, they know what they are doing. Uh, they might need some help in technical governance with the norms of international community. And all Afghans are ready to help them. We want peace to prevail in our country. Uh, we will help uh, the Taliban if necessary to figure out how to include everybody else in governance. But what we don't want is to end up like uh, Kashmir without a head of state or Somaliland without a head of state, where the international community will have no interlocutor to talk to about Afghanistan. Today, the ambassador of Afghanistan at the United Nations is somebody who represents a fugitive president. Uh, Ashraf Ghani is known in Afghanistan for having lied to everybody. So his government is not valid. And if somebody at the United States tomorrow, at the United Nations tomorrow says, Mr. Ambassador, who are you representing? They would be justified. We need a head of state. We need 
a foreign minister, we need a finance minister to talk to the World Bank, we need a foreign minister to talk to the world bodies. The Taliban should take this responsibility and come and fill this legal void. Uh, governance, yep. Yep. as long as there is peace, and as long as the Taliban welcome and respect others, so far they have, they did in Herat with Ismail Khan, and they have done, they have get, given bodyguards to President Karzai. I think we can, we're going in, a, in the right direction. It is not easy. We cannot say everything will be good, but we need to now put together the pieces so that Afghanistan can become a recognized state at the United Nations.